last video we talked about getting power to these things and maximum power for different types of boards, right? This video, we're gonna actually get one of these stepper drivers moving and we're gonna show you the really quick, easy way to get them moving, okay? So I've got my drivers installed here. I've got my micro stepper jumpers jumped the way I'd like. I've got this little barrel connector ready to be plugged in. So what I'm gonna do now Let's plug in my USB. I need to put a firmware on this board. Okay, now this can be as hard or as easy as you want it to be. So today we're gonna do it the easy way. I'm gonna have a video on doing it the hard way, right? With all the options and configurations. But right now I'm just gonna plug this in. I've downloaded a program called Laser Gribble. Okay. That program has firmware, a firmware loader built into it. I will show you that right now. So right now I got it running here. Okay. So I guess what I can do here, I'm gonna I'm gonna unplug my my gerbil board here. I'm gonna open up the COM ports, right? So there's what six comms on here. I'm gonna plug my board in, and magically a seventh COM showed up, right? That is the COM port of your Arduino. So that's the one you're gonna be choosing. I'm gonna select this. I'm not gonna connect anything, right? I'm not gonna hit connect. I'm not gonna to try to move stuff around. What I'm gonna do is go to tools and flash gerbil firmware. This is the easiest way to do this, okay? Now, I know I have an Uno underneath this thing, so my target is an Arduino Uno. And then we have a couple options in here, right? So we have the original firmware, the current latest firmware, a firmware with special XY homing. So if you're using a laser that doesn't have Z-axis homing, it has that built into the firmware so you can home uh, a laser machine. And then you have an older version of the firmware, okay? So what I'm gonna do here, since I'm doing lasers, not CNC milling, since mine doesn't have a Z-axis, mine won't have a Z-axis, I'm gonna choose XY homing. So I'm gonna click that, and I'm on COM7, I just checked that, and keep the baud rate where it told it to go. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit okay. And it's gonna give me this little dialogue that says, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. And then it pops up this window here, and it's writing all that program. Now it's verifying it, it's reading it. And look at that, firmware flash successful. Cool, okay. Now, what we can do is uh, actually try to connect to it, try to talk to it here. So I'll pull up both of the screens at the same time. So we have the Arduino here, software over here, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit connect. Okay, I got the COM7 selected. I'm gonna hit connect. I can hit connect here or else I can go to Gerbil and hit connect, They're the same thing, hit connect. And this message right here was generated by this board, okay? So that means this board's running this firmware. So we successfully uploaded firmware to this thing, right? So now the fun part, actually powering this thing up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a stepper motor here. I'm gonna plug it into X, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna put a flag on it for theatrical purposes. That way you guys can see this. All right, little flag on my motor, okay. Now I'm gonna plug the high voltage in, okay. Now we know the board's running right now. It's just the stepper motors, the stepper drivers aren't running yet. Though the, the motor control side isn't running yet. So I'm gonna plug this in. And I got no smoke, so we're doing good here, <laughs> right? Okay. So, let's give this a try. I'm gonna go to my program here. I'm connected. I'm just gonna tell it to move to the right. Not moving quite right, let's see why. Oh, I didn't put my separ, uh, separ connector on correctly. It's actually missing a pin. 
Let's try that. Ah, look at that. That sounds beautiful. All right, so in this video, we loaded the firmware, we plugged the separate motor in, and we just told it to move. And it's working, right? And I'm gonna turn it the other way. So that's how to get this thing moving. In the next video, we're gonna be looking at tuning this thing, tuning the Gerbil firmware to run the stepper as fast or as slow as you need it to run. So thanks for watching.